this is mathematics challenged one plus one equals three or three plus one equals nine. And so the idea of this is the, the, the theme that we are thinking of is reciprocity, this feeling of creating a community by giving and by getting, by learning and exchanging. And so with that, I'd like to introduce my co-founder, Sean Moffat. Yeah, I'm excited about today, guys. Uh, we're recording it for uh, the people that haven't come into our, our world. This doesn't need to be the biggest thing. Uh, we're going to make this an invitation-only area. So unlike some other things that you know of us, other entities that we're part of, it's a little bit more rarefied atmosphere here. And I think uh, we're under the guise of how can we conquer the world together? I mean, if that is kind of our mission, we all know we're coming into this invitation with different maybe aspirations or thoughts but uh, under the guise of hopefully how do we conquer the world together. We're going to talk about that today in three different parts. So um, yeah, back to you, Andrew. Well, I'd love to start with the give because the thought of why we're together is partly because of what we value and partly because of what we're missing. And one of the thoughts that we have is, uh, I was just getting off the phone with a, a kind of colleague from, from Paris this morning. And it was interesting because we all have lots of things to keep us busy. We all have lots of people and communities and connections. And one of the things that we're missing sometimes is hard to describe. It's the people in our lives that keep us on our game. It's the ability for us to think differently than we do in our other, in our other uh, slices of our lives. And so what we're hoping is that we'll create a real sense of connection with each other. We'll get to know each other in ways we don't necessarily with our clients if we're in business relationships. Certainly the idea of being able to be learning together is big. And so what we're hoping is that we're able to, as members of this group, something different from what we get from other group memberships. I mean, for us, it's an hour of insight. And, and so the idea is what are we seeing and, and what are the ways that we're looking at what we, what we say is strategy, you know, business strategy, organizational purpose, innovation, but the kind that you can take to the bank, you know, the trustworthy kind of innovation and the future. And people are so scared of it that a lot of times we call the future kind of science fiction. We actually love the future. Sean and I are future proofers, which means that we embrace it. We see it around us all the time in different industries and we piece it together in ways that help other people reach their full potential. And we're also all about heart and commitment. And so in what way can we as a community in this, in this champions network, you know, this 66, future proofing 66, what are some ways that we can work together to bring our clients and each other to, you know, better paths and it's around growth and purpose. And so we think it should be an hour that we spend together that we can't wait for the next month. You know, every month it's like, I can't wait to see these people again because they, they stimulate me in ways I'm not engaged in other places in my life. It is about business and organizations. And so we are unabashedly positive about the ability for companies to make a huge impact in the world and for the teams and leaders to do that. We think it's a great for us to be top performers. And as Sean said, this is going to be an invitation only kind of a network and, and relationships so that we uh, care about each other and we commit kind of, as we said, recipro rec with reciprocity. Um, engage us for collaborating. We are really, really, really interested in collaborating. And so what are some ways that we might think of this one plus one is three, you know, us and what we're up to, plus whatever worlds you're touching equals something that is a multiplier effect. We would love to have it all be about verbs. And a little bit later, I'll talk about some of the verbs because we have enough places where we have to just sit there and do nothing um, <laughs> or we have to be um, contributing with deliverables. But this is about action. And so uh, later on, we'll talk about our favorite 11 verbs. And then uh, we also want to be able to help you be known by other people like us and extend our community to people like you. And we're global, so we are really interested in, in you know, challenging our own ideas, looking at the future from lots of different lenses, lots of different generational perspectives, lots of different ways of, of understanding growth and purpose. And so we're really hoping that this becomes, you know, we hate to say rarefied in the snobby way, but a particular well-hewn, well well-selected, carefully 
constructed and committed group of people that we can really do better work together with. Sean. I'm seeing a lot of evaluative faces here. This, this is very good. You're chewing on what we're telling you here. But uh, I think, uh, as Andrew said, there's a give. Uh, we have a lot to give. We have about 16 different things going on in our lives that we want to involve uh, you guys in this year. Some of this is already happening. So, I mean, this is formally just kind of engaging you in a process that's already started to happen. On the get side, because this is reciprocal, um, you know, we have a lot of thought leadership that comes out the shoot, and we always look to ourselves and go, I wonder if this makes sense to the world. And so we would love to consider that one of our gets is, you know, surfacing some of that to you guys and actually going, okay, what's your thought on this and seeing if we can improve it together. Um, we certainly have some collaboration aspects in terms of just projects we're working on actively that we we are really looking at you guys potentially as a talent network that can jump into some of our things and go, yeah, I'm interested in being involved in that. Uh, we'd love to stay abreast with what's going on in your world. Uh, we are not the fountain of all things brilliant. Uh, I know that there's amazing things going on and it tends to be when we have these sessions, we, we get to figure out what's going on. Um, and then we also wanna be part of your networks. So as much as we're gonna open up our network to you, uh, we think that goes both ways. And so we'd love to um, look at this as being kind of a two-way street where you got great stuff going on. We'll broadcast out um, to our worlds. And conversely, if we got good stuff going on, hopefully you can do the same. So that's a bit of the, the get give reciprocal. Andrea, you want to talk about what today is all about? Well, today is a beta event. And what that means is that we are in the early stages of figuring out what we need to figure out. And we have ideas. We are really about listening today. And so we'll be talking a little bit about some initiatives we have going on where we would love the power of other people's ideas and talents. We would love your thoughts on that. And we equally want to hear what you're doing in your worlds and who you are. And one of the first things we love for everyone to do, because it's, it's a great way to meet each other, is for you to write in chat, like, who are you? What city are you, are you sitting in right now? How did you hear about this? And what's intriguing so far? You know, whatever you want to write to us, we would love to hear from you in chat. Um, that would be super uh, valuable to us. And uh, also, as I said, as a beta event, we are very open either during or after the, the session to think together, you know, to really co-create what this Future Proofing 66 net Champions Network might be about. Sean? I love the fact the train always goes off in Andrea's background and it throws her off just for a millisecond there. So uh, it's the consequence of living in uh, the valley, I guess. Yeah. Um, yeah, we call it we call it she'll be coming around the mountain because there's always a train coming around the mountain here in, in uh, the Bay Area. Uh, my only role in this next part is to tell you that this will not be a time suck in your life. Um, you know, uh, the minimum that we're going to do is, at least from an event standpoint, is we're going to do the most amazing hour in your life every month. That's what we're promising. Uh, and if we can entrap you with a whole bunch of stuff in between in terms of research and some other verbs that Andrew's gonna go through, that's great. We're doing this as a beta session today. Um, a lot of people said, hey, love to, can't do it today. Um, kind of our real kind of first session, I guess, will be March 16th at one o'clock PM ET. Um, and we're gonna try to do these on the same days that we do our webcast in real life. So if you wanna double bill, um, certainly there's a publicly available broadcast, typically 11 o'clock on Tuesdays, and we're going to do this one at one o'clock on the 16th next. So that's, that's the frequency. Uh, this will not be a time suck, um, and hopefully be very valuable for you. Andrew? Well, I call this orange juice concentrate. You know, the more we get out of the shortest amount of time, the better for most of our lives. But at the same time, there's a dimension of difference and what I've noticed is there's lots of ways and, and verbs that I use, I know how to do, I apply, I think a lot of us do, you know, we have to consult, we have to figure things out, we have to analyze those kinds of verbs. But then we might also have family places, you know, where we, we congregate and we, and we exchange and we express and that. We might have a book club, you know, or a journal club where we, um, you know, pontificate <laughs> or, or argue or, or challenge or whatever. Um, what's missing for a lot of us in, in thinking about this is who are the people that we want to author with? 
right? Are, are there pieces, this is the first verb, author, pieces that we feel one plus one is three would help us write together. I was just on the phone with someone who's written a big piece about why there aren't more IPOs in France, you know, and you need a combination of different mindsets, one plus one is three, to, to get to a different place. So who among the folks today might we want to write with? That would be great. Craft. We love it. We love verbs. Crafting solutions. So uh, in the overarching concept of, of purpose. It comes from understanding different perspectives. And so what might we build together, craft together? Sean and I have been collaborating for a few years. It started off kind of like this. We were in a, an informal network. And the next thing we knew, we started coalescing around this bigger need for people to, for us, it's strategy plus innovation plus future. Like why haven't people braided that together into galvanized steel? That was a good question. We, we started you know, kind of noodling on it a few years ago, and here we are a few years later, building initiatives and crafting together. So what, what would it be really fun to craft together? Models, frameworks, solutions, ideas, artistic things, expression. Discover is the next one. So author, craft, discover. Uh, we view ourselves because our backgrounds are in research and intelligence gathering. However, anytime we know that anchoring bias and all the other millions of biases always need to be challenged by people who think differently. And so we're hoping that we might be able to together perhaps develop some way, some things to discover. So author, craft, discover. Co-host, Sean and I have done how many webcasts now together, Sean? Like 46. 46, 46. So we're getting to know one another. Um, we have events that we'd love to do with others. We, we have panelists, we have subject experts. Some of you have been panelists. And what, like yesterday or day before, we had Pascal Copens from uh, Brussels, who's a China expert, and Cindy White from Parker White, who's a brand challenger expert. And they brought such different perspectives to the, a model that Sean and I have been working on. It was fantastic. And I, we always learn from that. So co-host. We would love to find out if there are people here that we could co-host some of these events with. Evaluate. We are always looking for judges, people who are scouts around the world for great future-proofing companies. We have uh, awards we'll talk about later. So you know, we see a, a, a subset of that. Are there people out in this world today, in the, in the community today, who might help us scout for talent and ideas and, and companies that, and organizations that we haven't heard of. So that's the next verb. Um, the, the next verb is um, critique. And so part of what we do as advisory services, a lot of people say, you know, we'd love to do future proving. We are not trying to build McKinsey right now. You know, we're not, not trying to build an organization with internal consultants, but we are looking to license and leverage and extend and expand our own consulting capabilities. So who might we advise together where one plus one is three? Expand. Um, I was really feeling like my, my world was plenty big enough until I realized that every single time that I would engage with new people, my world expanded and my, the power of the network was reinforced. So that's the next part of this is how might we grow each other's networks in a meaningful way, not just to have more people, but to have something that's missing. Um, engage is the next verb. Client solutions are tough. When people are saying, here we are at point A and we'd like to be at point B, hopefully there are people in this room today who think, well, wait a minute, what about points C and D and E and F? So how can we help to critique and perhaps even pitch some client work together? We would, we would really love to do that. Uh, we know that in the next 20 years of our careers, we're not gonna be able to hit the whole world, <laughs> but maybe we can together. <laughs> uh, discuss. Um, I love the, and we're going to have time today to talk and, and, uh, and meet each other. And the nice part about Zoom breakout rooms is we can meet in smaller groups and we'll also have topics where we can discuss together. Um, advocate. We, this is not a group that is um, supposed to be say, you know, looking at one particular purpose. However, um, there are things that we know need changing, you know, global education, you know, uh, I live in the United States. We've had some political challenges uh, lately. 
uh, the tectonic plates of global partnering. You know, they're, they're big issues and we can't do them without doing them together. Advocate and then learn. We are all about learning. And so we have this new initiative, Future Proofing You, where Sean and I are partnering with a group, just like someone we met in this situation, Chen Yang Shu, we met in a situation just like this, where we realized that collectively, he's an expert in um, commercialization of innovation through Siemens in a global uh, capacity. One plus one is three. In that situation was one plus one plus one is nine. <laughs> Andrea plus Sean plus Chen Yang can bring this future-proofing you to life, to life in a new way. So who in this group today might be in that position to think of a new initiative and collaborate with us on that? So Sean, those are my verbs. Author, craft, discover, co-host, evaluate, critique, expand, engage, pitch, discuss, advocate, and learn. Those are good verbs. Those are good verbs. Um, we're gonna we're gonna open this up soon. So we're already like above our time agenda that we wanted to get across in terms of stuff. I would say this, we looked at what this thing could be and we're gonna ask you guys in a couple of minutes to actually mint this for us. Um, but we looked at what would be an event that we would want to come to every month. So with that in mind, we started that way. We think there's five components that everybody in this room might wanna see and some might play better with others. The first uh, part uh, we're calling the wellspring. We want to get in touch with authors, thought leaders, change agents, CEOs, people that we really look at with some level of reverence and respect with a catch. You know, this could be our version of a TED talk, but we want to invite them to come in, give their best 15 minutes on something that they haven't exposed to the world yet. So um, this is kind of like you're thinking about writing a new book, you're thinking about a new direction as a CEO come on in, share it with our group. And that's kind of a wellspring of thought. Uh, we think there's a, an idea for a soapbox here where we give out of five minutes of every hour, one minute of everybody, um, you can sign up ahead of time and actually say what you're working on, why it's 66 worthy and how we can get involved. So we think that's a second piece. We think there's usually about five things going on in future proofing next worlds every month. So we'll give you five opportunities to participate in stuff that we're doing. We think there's one or two challenges that you would love to play with uh, in each one of these things and interact with others and collaborate. And then finally, just uh, there's probably a marquee of events, either yours, ours, or somebody else's that we'll just list out at the end of the meeting that says, between now and the next month, here's five or six events that might intrigue you in terms of doing stuff. And maybe there's even discounts for those if we know the people involved. So that's the structure, but we're gonna ask you in a minute to actually help us even improve it further. Andrew? So this is quick. Somebody said this morning, is, is this for me? And I said, well, let's see, are you one of these? A challenger person, somebody who changes the things that most of us accept. And we always joke about the serenity prayer, you know, I, uh, grant me the power to accept the things I cannot change. We say, please grant me the, the boldness to change the things we cannot accept. So then are you a, a Renaissance person? Someone who's not defined by your function. You know, we, we really love people who don't just put ourselves in boxes. Um, is there a caliber to it? Um, top 5% of something, right? Of, of something, thinking differently, being the one that always questions, being, you know, top 5% of what new category? Reciprocal value. We are really, really interested in a community where we give and we get, we give and we get and we make we create, we build. And so we wanna make sure that it's a reciprocal feeling that we're not just here to grandstand or soapbox one way. And the same thing with the change agent. I mean, a change agent is usually um, characterized by someone who knows change should happen and realizes that they don't need the credit. And so we're looking for people who are catalysts for change and realize that it's around getting other people excited in the movement that you're trying to promote. We came up with like a manifesto almost ahead of time, but we thought, oh, it's so early. Like, why don't we just um, hang on a couple of different statements? We, we came up with eight of them, but I'll just mention two of them for the sake of time. Um, hopefully this group can bring out the best in others. Like if that's a, a rallying cry for you, hopefully that makes sense. Um, it does for us. And on the other side, if this isn't for you, if you're like, hey, like, um, you know, uh, I thought I might like it and I don't, that's fine. You know what, uh, I, on this one, you know, we'll, 
we won't be hard edged about it, but um, we're kind of doing this together and reciprocal. Uh, we don't want kind of any passengers on the train. We'd love people that drive the train. So um, I think those are two kind of manifesto rallying cries that we would like love to have. Andrea? Yeah, so, and what we'd like to do briefly, you know, by this summer, we'd love to do five great events. We don't know what they are yet. We have ideas. We'd like to have your ideas, events. Really do things that, that um, are output. Um, we'd love to have at least half of you, ideally all of you, but, you know, maybe half of you involved in something real. So something that is in the corner of your mind and you're th thinking, who can I get to do this with me? Uh, we might be those people. And we really hope that um, we want to do this. This is not an obligation. You know, this is, this is really something that piques our interest and we're committed to being doers. So, and then similarly, my vision for this is, um, you know, Future Proofing Next is going to launch five awesome world beating type of things. We want to have you guys involved in that and hopefully contribute. Conversely, somewhere, somehow in this group of people and other people that are here listening to this, we're going to intensely help uh, you guys launch 10 things. Don't know what they are, but we're going to figure those out. And then together, hopefully we'll identify some ideas that we can launch together. So um, that's kind of my vision of this. You want to talk about our fight club rules, Andrea? Yeah. So we've got fight club rules. Now we are recording this, but, uh, but this is really Chatham health rules, which means that we want there to be safe spaces to, you know, we're not going to be broadcasting and suddenly something that you're saying in a, in a working session becomes public. Um, it's, it's more of a closed community in terms of thought. And unless we just, you know, we decide we're doing an event that's public. Second is invite only. Um, we're going to start a private page and, um, we'll hopefully be, at the most adding eight people per month. We're not trying to make this huge. We have lots of huge in our lives. This is bespoke. Uh, number three is if you're in a five person breakout group and you're talking more than I would say 10 to 15% of the time, you, there's probably a problem. So we wanna make sure that, that you know, we have a lot to say, um, but when we get in breakout groups that, that, that it's a, a you know, pass the ball around and, and meet each other. And then finally, if we don't hear from you in six months, that is cool. You know, we don't, this is not going to be for everybody and we get busy, but, but what we would like to do is the people who care and show up to be fully present. And what we mean by that is like in a little bit, we want your cameras on, right? Um, we want you to actually show up, not just like tune in and multitask because what we've learned is places where you place your attention and your focus matter. And so we are here with eye contact. We are full on, this matters to Sean. This matters to Andrea, and we want to find other people that this matters to. If it doesn't, like, you know, there are lots of other ways we can play, but um, this, this is a place where, you know, if like with my old book club, if you don't read the book, you shouldn't come to the meeting, you know, show up, suit up, be here, be open, give, get, make. Sean. Uh, and the last thing on this one, and I think we're just going to open up to our first soapbox and let you guys talk because I think we've, we've gone on at some length in terms of just describing what we are. People do ask us the question when we're launching this, what is 66 all about? Like, is there 66 people? Is it so does anybody have the answer? Because we, we almost want to cloak it in mystery. I don't know if this is like art, I suppose we want to have it represent a number of different things. I love the palindromic nature of 66, but any any good suggestions in terms of why 66? I've got three on my board. We can do this like Family Feud and you guys can um, see if it's, uh, it's on my list or I something. I think we different. should let people weigh in in chat. Why don't we let everybody give a guess? <laughs> give a guess in chat. Oh, Rob, what does yours say? Route 66. I get my kicks on Route 66. What about uh, you, Rob? <laughs> certainly, certainly route 66 is a good uh, route of discovery i see a lot of good good kind of suggestive um things there um, 66 latitude 66 beautiful highway yes uh route 66 uh yeah any other 66s you got a couple more <laughs> what is it 66 latitude do we know this 66 degrees the one thing I would say is I went to Iceland last year pre-pandemic um, and there is a great uh, Icelandic jacket company called 66 North. So for the top performing contributors within this, this space, there's like a really like Patagonia plus 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 kind of jacket that might end up on your uh, coffers already logoed up with 66 North. So, um, Andrea, okay, Sean, I, th I think, oh, wait, the 66 parallel North. Oh, we love this. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you, Rob. That's a that's a great little tidbit. Okay, uh, Sean, do you want to do the first soapbox? Well, I would just say uh, we've got five minutes here that we'd love to dedicate to you guys. Like you've come in today, not knowing what maybe you're coming into. What is something going on in your world that might be broadly interesting for us and and potentially stuff that we can get involved? So we'll um, we'll give a minute to the floor for anybody that's interested because this is as much about you as it is us. Uh huh. weren't prepared, were you? I'd love to start. Um, my name is Revy Schlesinger. Um, I'm already um, kind of, in a way, drunk the Kool-Aid and helping Andrea and Sean um, with getting this, um, this future-proofing out there. Um, I, um, what I would like to see is, is uh, a collaboration of people who are passionate about engaging big corporate to make change happen in the world. I see big corporate and, and the and global systems and global engagement as major catalysts to change. And we have a lot of work that needs to be done in the next 10 years um, to address issues on a whole range of spectrum, starting you know, also with environment. Um, and uh, I see um, a need for champions and um, people who are change agents to engage with each other and support each other to have more legs in the work that they're doing, more confidence in the work that they're doing and more success in the work that they're doing. And so what I would love to see is um, this group be used for that purpose. Cool. Thank you, Revy. Anybody else? Revy started us off on a good trail here. There's always somebody that has to go first, right? <laughs> Anybody else that wants to step into the void? Hi there. I'm hoping you can hear me. It's Michelle speaking. Michelle, how are you? I am fantastic. So um, last night was the uh, inaugural announcement of our task force in, in uh, Pickering, city of Pickering. And we're going to be doing some very uh, messy, <laughs> uh, uh, dirty, but very raw conversations about relationships uh, throughout the city. And so that came out of, of course, uh, civil unrest in 2020, but it's expanding anywhere from just people are at home now with family members that they may not know <laughs> and have had to forge relationships and, and uh, get better at communicating. And so we're partnering with uh, another, I believe they are American based, but they've, they have outlets in the Netherlands. And we're gonna have some, videotaped, uh, very heavy hitting conversations, very raw, and help people to re-engage with who they are and, and what kind of relationships they actually can forge out there and inside their homes. So very different. Very cool. Thanks, Andrea. And, and uh, can we get involved somehow or where, where can we learn more, Michelle? I would absolutely love for you to be involved. And uh, so, yes, this is a, a huge opportunity that I think has a lot of prongs and a lot of opportunities. And so, yes, we can further that conversation for sure. Wonderful. Awesome. All right. And then let's go one more, guys, uh, before we, uh, we, uh, we go to our breakout rooms. Anybody? Uh, I, I would like to announce something. Can you guys hear me? Hey, yep. um, I am Alex Whittington, and I just realized I have something people might be interested in in this group. It's a new project that's kicking off today. Actually, it's called Speculative Optimism, and um, it's a, a movement to uh, do some creative writing about positive futures. Um, a, a woman from the UK is organizing it, and the meeting is actually coming up in about an hour, the first meeting, but I think opportunities will be ongoing. Um, what she's doing is getting people to think about the future and write about the future, and ultimately, she will be accepting submissions for a ebook that is to be published, I think, uh, later in the summer. So get in touch with me if you would like to be involved. I can send you a link. Wow, that is like action driven. Like we're one hour away from being yeah. able to leap into a <laughs> sorry. space. I, sorry for the last, last minute notice, but. <laughs> no, that's exactly what we want. So, all right, Andrea, um, those are great guys. I mean, that's the spirit of maybe every month where we come in, get your best minute ready in terms of stuff that we can get involved in. Andrea, you wanna uh, kick us off into our first breakout group? 
Yeah, well, the big the big idea of the breakout groups is to meet each other. And so we have a prompt, but um, we don't want that to get in the way of having a good conversation. The prompt that we have is we've given some thoughts around um, the verbs. We've given some thoughts about what's missing in your life. We've given some thoughts about some sort of purpose or impact and something that would be distinctive. What would be a reason that you would wanna be fully present with a group of people once a month and perhaps events in between. And so the first prompt is very specifically uh, around what is it that our current concept of the 66 could do for you? What's your value prop? What would it be if it were ideally uh, satisfying that itch that you would like to scratch? And so the idea is you'll have about 10 minutes. Is that right, Sean? Five yep. minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes. So about 10 minutes and it goes like this. We'll put you into small groups. You get to know each other. Once again, if you talk too much, you're probably not being reciprocal. Um, and then the idea is, I think three things. Number one is based on what you heard, what resonated? What does 66 really mean to you, right? Like what, what resonated? What would be different for you, right? In terms of like, this would be, if it, if it could be like this, this would be distinctive in my life and it would be a place I would like to be fully present. And the third is something that you feel you could perhaps an, an event or a contribution or a, some, something you would like to verb, verb uh, with, you know, what would the verb be uh, that you would like to get involved with? Because once again, we are very open and uh, we'll give you about, I don't know, about 10 minutes to be in the groups and then come back and share some with the larger group. Sean, so anything I've, you want to add before I do the breakouts? I've just set up the four breakout rooms right now. Um, I would just say if somebody can scribe, we're not going to do a big debrief coming back to the room. Um, but if somebody can really scribe and put that in the chat when we get back, that would be helpful. Um, with that in mind, clear challenge statement. What can 66 do for you going into four breakout rooms now coming back in 10 minutes? And if you can't be assigned uh, or if you're on your mobile, which sometimes can be tough, we can we can get you in your room. This is are we going into a room? Uh, I think so. We should probably uh, I'll go in a room too. All right. If you All can right. pick the whatever other one that is got reason, four people. Let's see the break. I don't let me see the breakouts. Um, all right, I'll, I'll enter. You're going to two? Yeah. Okay, I'll go to, um, let's see, I'll go to, I'll pick something. With Wade back here, we're we're like the average age of this front room is is younger than it'll ever ever be. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna bring more, more younger folks. Um, how is this the first round of the program, Sean, or, or has it been done before? Uh, we've talked about being doing this for a while. This, uh, as Andrea mentioned, this is beta. Like we're we're just figuring out from you guys what we want to do, and we're gonna kick it off formally next month. So, um, so you're. Uh, you're getting in early. Okay, hey, everybody. Hopefully, uh, 
good to talk with other people as opposed to just being in the big Zoom room like we are again. Um, we're not going to do a big debrief, but if you can, at some point um, before we leave, just um, put whatever um, breakthrough thoughts that we had in terms of how to make 66 better for you uh, in the big room. We're going to do a second breakout right now, guys. Um, we are launching something called the Future Proofing Awards, okay? Um, uh, essentially, what we want to be doing is uh, the Nobel Prize, the Oscar Awards for people that are great at innovation, strategy, and the future, all right? Nobody does this. So there's, there's marketing awards, there's Webby Awards for websites, but nobody really rewards or awards or recognizes some of the best that do this type of work in real life. And so we have an idea for 16 different categories and not only rewarding the big guys, because it's like, I'm sure we'd hear Amazon a lot or you know insert your favorite company or biggest company or, or highest growth company, but we also want to discover some of the jewels out there that maybe exist in different countries that Silicon Valley or Fast Company doesn't cover. So um, for the next, let's call it six or seven minutes, we're going to do breakout rooms again. What could um, that program look like that would make this become the Nobel Prize, the Oscar Awards for recognizing the best in innovation, the future and strategy. And by the way, if you're interested, we'd all, we'd like to make as many of you or as few of you as you want in terms of being judges on this contest as well. So as you do that, you may become a, more of a working person on this one as well. So um, I'm gonna do breakout rooms again and uh, enjoy. Andrea. Yes, Sean. Let's, uh, oh, I might have put people in the same rooms again. Um, I, you want to go to this time? I'll go, I'll go to a different room. Uh, okay. Where'd you I go last go time? To, I went to um, David, someone, and uh, room three, David. Some, someone Deb. who knows Colleen, a woman who worked in a bank with Colleen. Deb, David, Deb, David, Deb, and Claire. Okay. Yeah, I'll go yeah. there. You go room two, okay? Okay, I'll go to room two. Uh, where am I? We're the first ones back. It would be interesting to um, think through how to avoid the uh, badge effect that comes after many years. So how can this award always be fresh and exciting and energizing um, when some of the awards that we see, like, you know, best, you know, CFO of the year or top women of the year or whatever, at some point, there's some trigger that makes them run by sponsors or funders or gaming it. And um, people just want to collect the badge of the award. So this got to be a badge free one like this is like these winners are meant to be inspirational, not because someone paid for them to be on a panel. Yeah, sorry. No, I agree. You got the last end of it. But but once again, a big gold statue, right? Of some sort, no? Oh, so totally. Sean, we, we have to do a little thing. We, we got kicked out before we finished. Could we hold up our, our word, everybody in my group? Because um, we, we ran out of time. We, we did not manage our time well. Um, what could make the, uh, the awards amazing? So Alexander, what's yours? Sorry, we have to do this quickly. What does it say? Oh, you're on mute. Everybody's on mute, sorry. What does Biophilia. It say? Biophilia. Sorry, okay. I scratched one out. <laughs> uh, Michelle, what did yours say? Dark Knight. Uh, mine was Children. What was Wade's? I think it was Terawatt. Did we miss some? Yeah. So we'll make a poem out of all that after this. <laughs> okay. We'll try to understand what that okay. means later. 
Okay, Sean, back uh, back to you, or shall I do the um, the? FD Why don't version? you intro this last one? We'll try to sneak okay. one more thing. Under so one before. last thing, and this will be a quick one. So you know, um, I'm obsessed. Sean's obsessed. I think Revy's obsessed with this future proofing you. We just have a million reasons that we think that future proofing you, and every way that we learn together as a learning community. You know, there's a million ways to make it ten thousand million times better. So the question is. Um, we have two ideas. One is future-proofing you, which is a way for us to keep learning together. Um, and we, we're doing it as a, as a sprint, a learning, a leadership sprint. That's our first form factor. And so what would it be like for us to be able to learn the, the future-proofing concepts together and spread that around the world? Um, and the second is future-proofing X. And I was a member of TEDx and one of the first, you know, organizers of TEDx. And what does it look like when, when a core idea goes X, just somehow experimental, outside of the, the core. And so what might it look like? We don't know if it's salons or local things or we get adopted or I don't know, we start setting fires somewhere. We don't know what that means. So we would love ideas for what would future proofing you, which is a learning community, might it look like, how would you make that amazing? Don't worry about what it is already, but you know, we, we have a way of doing our first form factor and um, training practitioners around the world, train the trainer. But also future proving X, you know, salons or experimental gatherings. What might that look like? So, Sean, can you put us in different groups or the same groups? I'm resorting. You can choose your own room this time, guys. So uh, I will recreate four rooms and you can choose your own and we'll try to get back here. Five maybe minutes. We'll, we'll slide maybe one minute after the hour. All right. We'll do a round robin quick for each person, each group. I can, uh, and sometimes people have a tough time assigning themselves to a room. So let me know if you're having a challenge. Mm -hmm. Keith, you're shaking your Keith, head. Do you need help? I don't know how to do it. Please yeah, it doesn't seem to be working. It's not giving me any prompt. Okay, Andrea just invited me, so I'll join. It's funny. I don't know if people numerology wise hate two. Nobody's joined two and it has no theme to it. So it's. <laughs> uh, David, you wanted me to assign you to room three? Oh, you're muted, but uh, I'll, I'll presume that's it's okay. Sorry. Yeah, go right ahead. James, where do you want to go? Maybe he's going somewhere. Oh, already gone. Oh, I'll, go to, I'll go to room two with him. I'll, I'll go join room two. Go, James. And then, yeah, I'll. Uh... You and me, you and me left standing here, buddy. Oh no, I, I thought I already assigned you. Room three, let's try that again. Okay, join breakout room. Let's see if I can move this a little bit. Get the sun out. Okay, well, welcome back, everybody. And uh, hopefully everybody didn't get cut off mid-sentence like I always do. Um, <laughs> there's always more to say. We're rounding the curve in terms of the end. I'm going to do a, a little bit of a brief follow-up. Um, if people could put in the chat some things. I heard two interesting ideas that came to mind, like X. So X could be like this X factor, and X could be like... Um, X prize-ish and X could be like explore. 
and X could be expand, you know, so there were some sort of thoughts about what X might look like um, and it should be something kind of mysterious. So that was interesting, but put that in the chat. I'm gonna talk us through cause some people have to end. Um, we have uh, a thought of uh, what we are doing in, uh, in, the, in the future. And I'll, I'll let Sean talk a little bit about that at the end, but we have a laboratory, you know, lab in terms of next steps. So we have Future Proofing You that is forming and starting March 26th. And we would love to share ideas about that as well. Um, we, we would love practitioners to be trained. Like I remember when I was trained in uh, Lean Startup a long time ago uh, with Steve Blank. And it's like, it gave me business model canvases for 10 years that were super cool. So we would love to have people trained up in what we're doing. We'd also love to be trained up in what you're doing so we can collaborate better. We have the awards coming up. We have their book coming out. We have foresights and salons coming out. And so we would love for you to be part of all of that and, and help us think through, help more broadly um, how we might expand those. Sean? Yeah, the only big uh, event. So usually, uh, at least the way we envision it at the end, we would throw up five different events that are going on at the end of uh, at, at this month. Uh, we're a little bit more cavalier about it this time. The one thing I would say for all the Canadians on the call today, we're getting anybody that's into Canadian Canada and innovation on a uh, an hour um, next week. So uh, March 9th. So if, uh, if those two things come together, Canada innovation, I'll probably be sending you a message between now and then to get you on to um, some of our launch components of our stuff. Um, March 16th is our next meeting, 1 p.m. I'm sure we'll be in touch with you to see if you're interested or not. If you are interested, we're going to ask for a bio. We're going to ask for a picture. It doesn't necessi necessitate that this be a publicly facing community for you, but we are going to build a page with whoever is comfortable being publicly facing and part of this community. We're also going to build a LinkedIn group that hives off of uh, Future Proofing Next, um, uh, a private group, invitation only. Um, so if you're interested, please let either myself or Andrea know. We'll put our, um, if we can, Andrea, if you can put your uh, email in the, um, the um, chat as well, that'd be great. Um, and we respect your time. We've gone over about five minutes. So um, that's all I had, Andrea. Anything else? No, I, we stay for after hours. So we do an official close and then we stay an extra five or so minutes to just chat and kind of let our hair down. So um, feel free to stay after and, and chat with us, but uh, we're, we're really excited to meet you. Um, and um, I'm just going to put hello at, yeah, right. I, I, I think that hello at future proofing next and we'll find you um, would be great. And uh, we would love to see you next month. I mean, this is to us a place where we can do special work, special collaboration, special co-creation, and think comfortably with cool people. So I'm very excited that people started and, and we'll see what we make of this together. 66, so Sean, there's one last 66 I think you should end us with. What about the angles? The, uh, there, there was that one 66 that I thought was the coolest. Yeah, I, I wasn't going to add another six onto there because then that becomes a demonic devil, devil worshiping society. So um, we're going to stay at two sixes. Um, I know uh, I would say just uh, one of the answers was in numerology, 66 means idealism and optimism. Um, so I figured that was a pretty good connotation, too, if you're into uh, numbers. So this is the official closeout. Um, thank you very much for being with us. We look forward to being fully present and doing some cool co-creation. So people who wanna leave, you're officially allowed to, <laughs> and then uh, we'll stay for five or 10 minutes for after hours. So thank you. And these are the people at the end of the bar now. <laughs> yeah, Sh should we stop recording or keep recording? Maybe we, uh, should, we stop. should stop recording. <laughs>